Whoa, it's happening. Buhari to hand over presidency to his apostle, Osibanjo. Hello, my wonderful people. Can this possibly be true? Buhari to hand over to Osibanjo. What is going on really and why is Buhari handing over? Is he tired or are they ready to tell us what exactly is going on? Some time ago, more than twice from the presidency, the first instance was when they told us from the presidency, this is not an alleged information, that Buhari's um, driver was the one who said, uh, uh, who, you know, tricked Buhari into signing a deal to for, so that he can get some money because he knows about Buhari's dementia. This is the presidency saying that. The second occasion was where uh, information leaked that dementia is getting worse. Buhari can hardly, you know, uh, dis discuss or bring, you know, real innovation or real solution to problems that are facing the nation uh, that has gone on and um, you know things have been the way they are however right now the matter reaching us is that uh, Buhari is to hand over are you listening hand over to Sibanjo but the question remains on what grounds you know what has happened please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time let's get all the details Buhari will hand over presidency to his apostle, Osi Banjo, that's the vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Recently, the vice president of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osi Banjo, said that President Muhammad Buhari will hand over power to his apostle when he completes his tenure in 2023. It is important to know that President Muhammad Buhari's tenure is expiring at the end of 2023 when he will have to complete, he will have completed in, in the second four years, which makes it eight years in office. Professor Emil Sivan just said Buhari will hand over to his apostle. He made this statement at the Army Resource Center in Abuja during the presentation of a book. The vice president who said that Buhari was conspired against and removed during his military regime insists that Buhari has given his best to Nigerians. And when Buhari's tenure is over, he will hand over to a competent person like himself who will take over and continue the affairs of the nation just like he has continued, will continue with the work Buhari has been doing so far. But the question remains, is uh, Yem, Professor Yemi Osibanjo really sure of what he's saying? Buhari, you think people, Buhari was conspired against the day, he, the time he was a military president. <laughs> do you think Nigerians are blind, deaf and dumb and so do not know what is happening? You know, Buhari, <laughs> this man has, do, has done more than you can imagine. Life, Nigerians are tired. To mention but a few, Nigerians are well over the top with regards to Buhari's excesses. Cannot take it anymore, you know. Nigerians do not want to continue or wallow in this very spell of despair. Now, for Professor Yemi Osibanjo to say, I mean, it, it's clear that he's seen through another lens, probably because he's in government, He's seeing what we are not seeing. And we really like to understand what he's saying so we can thoroughly understand what he's saying. Because he's saying Buhari will hand over to his apostle. An apostle is somebody who you have tutored, you have mentored, and is representing you, is exactly like you. We represent, we, we know you have, to, you have we, we, we're standing for the same purposes that you are standing for. He said Buhari has given his best. So the truth of the matter is, is it that we all Nigerians, we are oblivion to the fact of what Buhari has done? The constant borrowing, the insecurity, the lopsided appointment. As we speak, the president is a full anin. Apart from the vice president, all the chief of service staff, the chief of defense staff, um, the attorney general of the federation, uh, the, the head of immigration, the head of, you just name it. You just name it, the very top position all the juicy top position are headed by Fulanese. These are part of why Nigerians are angry and they cannot feel the dividends of democracy. Hence, they have resolved to say, you know what, to your turn, to Israel, let us have a section. Let's go. Let's have our own republic. Let's move out. 
let's have our own uh, you know our own dynasty and let's look after our, our affairs our resources let's look after ourselves let's look after our people the way we should okay let's look after the, the, the things the way we should instead of you know allowing you know some people to 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 just uh, sabotage what is duly ours if you look at it some regions in this country you know some regions are more more even you know more productive the weight of the of the of the whole nation is resting on the back from some region yet yet these regions if you go there the people are living in aged poverty all the wealth is going towards the north. This is part of the grievances. Yet Professor Emil Sibran just said, well, Buhari has done very well. You may not see it, but I see that Buhari has done well. And Nigerians are, of the, Nigerians are wondering, is it that we are blind or we cannot see beyond our nose or there is something else that we are not seeing that you alone are aware of, that you know that we don't know? You should keep us up to date because we are in the dark here. You see, we're actually in the dark here. We need to understand what is happening. We need to know what's going on because if you guys are saying Buhari has done well for the nation, he's done enough, you know, and Nigerians sound grateful, then there must be something. Probably we are shielded or we are in uh, the dark with regards to what Buhari has done. If Buhari wants Nigerians to see what he has done, the first thing is to ensure that the people are of the right mind, sitting in one place. What we're talking about, safety for the people, safety for all. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the crux of the matter. If people can feel safe to go about their job, their businesses, their livelihood without fear, people can feel safe to walk around to do what they need to do. If people can feel safe to do what the necessary. People can feel safe to go about, you know, all that they need to do with nobody, no harassment, you know, and life goes on. There is job. Well, how many jobs has Buhari created? Maybe you have not taken note of what you guys said. I think you've forgotten, sir, some of the things you guys said during the manifesto. How you guys promised Nigerians elaborately things you would do. We were so glean to you guys because you came out with an elaborate proposition of the ambiguous things you are going to do for the country, how you're going to transform things. And we believed you today. Reverse is the case. You're telling us to, to suck it up and stop pretending like babies. So when you look at the whole scenario, when you look at the whole thing, who exactly is to be blamed or how to, because I mean, if you guys are saying you've done your best, then probably something is wrong somewhere. We are not seeing what you are doing or there is, there is a blindfold somewhere that is preventing us from seeing your work. You need to show it to us. You need to let us understand indeed that you have done something. Leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.